We welcome the sentences handed down today, which bring to a close a key chapter in this investigation for North Hampshire Police. At the centre of it all has been the death of Molly May Wotherspoon, a baby girl. He was fatally mauled by a dog, a dog which subsequent inquiries confirmed was an American pit bull type, a banned breed. Such incidents are terrible, are rare, and this is the first time in Northamptonshire that someone has been charged with such an offence. Nonetheless, the events on that night of October 3rd, 2014, had tragic consequences, not least for Molly May, but also for her family and for those that knew her. In addition, it is fair to say that the officers and staff involved from all agencies found this to be a particularly sad and harrowing case. I just want to take this opportunity to pay tribute to the officers that were called to the incident that night, in particular PC Lewis Judd and PC Nicola Lyne. The officers, confronted by a horrific scene, bravely fought their way into the property and controlled and contained the dog. In doing so, they prevented further attacks on Molly May and they allowed other people to come into the house to try and save her life. If anything good is to come out of this, there must be a greater awareness about the consequences of owning banned breeds. They were banned for a reason. It's also time to consider the potential danger of leaving any dog in close proximity to a small child and unattended. And the NSPCA offers excellent advice on their website in relation to this. We're grateful to our investigators and to the Crown Prosecution Service with whom we worked extremely closely over a number of months to secure the charges today. The sentence sends out a clear message to those who insist on owning those types of banned breeds. But it doesn't end with the sentencing today. There are lessons to be learned for Northamptonshire Police. And with days of the tragedy, the force embarked on review of all incidents in the 12 months prior to that night to ensure that there were proper responses to all potentially dangerous dog incidents. Furthermore, in December 2014, the police produced new guidelines determining what our response should be to any report of a suspected dangerous dog. The case was subject to mandatory referral to the Independent Police Complaints Commission and they are due to publish their findings shortly. And in addition, a serious case review will also be published shortly in which the Northamptonshire Safeguarding Children's Board will examine what learning the various agencies involved have had and Northamptonshire Police have been fully engaged in that process. I'd like to bring you back to the fact that today is about the sad and untimely death of Molly Moe and to finally thank you for your attention today.